What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole, and I am here to deliver another general reading for my collective boo. So please come on in, all right? Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for engaging in the channel or with the channel, excuse me. Thank you so much for your donations. Thank you so much for your tips. Thank y'all so much, especially during this holiday season. I really appreciate you all um, for your tips. I appreciate you. I always send up an extra blessing for y'all. You know, y'all just don't know. Um, also, thank you for my booze who've been scheduling your one-on-one -on -one personal readings with me. Um, I will leave all of my information below on how to do that and how to connect with me off of here. Okay? I ask you all to please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy, okay? I've already um, opened the space, or cleansed the space, opened the roads. I've already gotten our ancestors ready to go so we can get these messages ready to rock, and we can go ahead and start. Please remember that this is a general reading. It's not a one-to-one. -one. What I say may resonate. It may not resonate. I invite you to take what resonates, and I invite you to also leave what doesn't. Please do not force anything to fit. If you need to switch the energies around, you can do just that. But don't force anything to fit. It's a general reading, everybody, okay? Please watch out for scammers out there acting like they are me. I told you I will leave my information below with how to connect with me. Anything outside of that is a scam, babies. Also, this is my only YouTube channel. Okay. Ancestors and Spirit Team. What can we pick up for my boobs? What can we pick up for my boobs? What's going on with the baby boobs? How are the baby boobs doing? Carla, what are you doing? Carly Carl. What you doing? Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. And this is in your starting position. New opportunities. You know, new abundance, new favor. Okay. Five of um, wands in reverse. Okay. Five of um, swords. Four of wands. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune, something faded. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. Let me do one more. bottom of the deck we have six of wands all right you all here goes so we have the ace of pentacles which is being clarified by the lovers we have the five of swords five of wands in reverse that is being clarified by the um, will of fortune we have the five of swords now being clarified by the two of pentacles we have the Four of Wands being clarified by the Nine of Swords. And we have the Six of Cups being clarified by the Empress. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, again, we have the Six of Wands. Which talks about... Um, which talks about being recognized for something. Some sort of a recognized victory. Um... You know, some sort of an accolade. Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you, hmm, 
especially with this lovers i'm trying to cover them up this lovers and this ace of pentacles i feel like with a lot of you spirit wants to gift you with some sort of a new union some of you all may have even been asking for i'm not gonna call them your person i but you all have been asking for or maybe manifesting you know some sort of a connection some sort of a lover some sort of a i don't even know um what the people call their booze now but something like that and i say that spirit is been is sending it to you because you see the angel here with her arms open like all right now voila okay and then also this is what spirit is handing you from um the sky you know from the abyss right so i feel like a lot of you um if you haven't already met your this person, but a lot of you all are going to be blessed with some sort of a connection. And I feel like this is a part of your, um, your recognized victory package, you know, because six of wands also talks about spirit, um, smiling down on you favorably spirit being proud of you. Some of you all may have done the work queen of wands here. Okay, you could be a, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could have done the work. You all um, could be now stepping into your, your light, not being afraid of your fire, not being afraid of your passion. You know, having that heart of gold, being courageous, being ambitious, being energetic. You know, really taking life by its horn, stepping into your fiery self. Yeah, with this death here. A lot of you all could have had to go through a lot of ego deaths, had to kill a lot of things off, end a lot of things, go through a lot of sudden endings. You all have gone through a lot of um, transformation as it relates to your fire, who you, who you are. Justice here. Okay, this is Libra energy that could be prominent. This is Scorpio here, death. Justice is the Libra. You know, some of you all may have gone through a divorce. Or some sort of balancing. You know, death and justice. Ending things so you can balance something out. Hmm. Eight of cups here. You walking away from something. You all have been walking away from shit that doesn't fulfill you. Doesn't satisfy you. Isn't your wish fulfillment. Could be a player. Knight of Wands. You could be walking away from a player. Or this could be you and this Knight of Wands energy. Finally going after what you want. And because of that... <laughs> Spirit got fast communication coming in. Judgment. That was the last one. Judgment. There, 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 there go them people again. A, a, a rebirth. Some sort of a fresh start. A lot of you all are, are hitting into some sort of a rebirth. A renewal. A, a, a fresh start at something. A second chance at something. Spirit is giving you a, a, a fresh start with this Ace of Wands. You got Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. A fiery new start. A passionate new beginning with this Ace of Wands. Hmm. The devil here. Some of y'all could have been. There, there's a, a union right there. It could have been in toxic connections before. That could have been something that you may be healing from. A toxic connection. Something that was ruled by the, by the devil. Put together by the devil. And this is what type of connection you want. This is what you want to see with you and your lover. Your angels. Your protector, your spirit team shining favorably on you. Not being chained to this motherfucker. You know? You could be, you could have got clarity about some shit. It could have been about a past relationship. You had to cut some things off. Hermit energy. Virgo energy. Going into your shell. Hmm. Oh. Ace of, of Pentacles. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of you all are coming out of conflict. You've been dealing with a lot of conflict with this um, five of, of wands. Coming out of conflict with people. Coming out of chaos with others. Fighting. You know, motherfuckers stressing you out and stuff. And you all are just, you've reached your turning point. You know, spirit is, is ready to shift you into your next chapter. A lot of you all have, have made a cleansed a lot of karmic slates. If that makes sense, you know, cleared a lot of karmic energy, a lot of karmic debt. And now you're being moved towards your next chapter. A lot of you all got good karma coming towards you because that's also what the 
um, the Wheel of Fortune talks about good karma. Hmm. Five of um, Swords, which talks about mental confusion. Not having mental clarity. You know, you could have changed your mind about something also with this Five of Swords. You could have changed your mind about people you were dealing with. Balance some shit out with the people you were dealing with. Hmm. Someone could have been juggling you. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. Five of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, that's clarity. You receive clarity about something, the truth about something. You could that truth could have been that this person was juggling here. Here the devil is again. You know, Capricorn could be prominent. This person could have been toxic. You could have that could have been a truth. This person wasn't doing nothing but chaining you down, keeping you down. This person could have been doing black fucking magic on you. Hmm. But no, I feel like you could have found out that this person was working with someone else, had an interest in dealing with someone else. I don't know. Take that as it resonates. Give in to somebody else. Look at that. Six of Pentacles. That's what you could have found out. This person was playing games. Somebody could have hurt you and just not gave a fuck. You know, didn't didn't care how that affected you. Didn't care how that made you feel. They could have been very callous. With their dealings with you. Hmm. Let me move on. Four of... Actually, you see. Four of wands and the um, nine of swords. Some of you all could be stressed out about making a commitment or having a foundation. Getting married. Some of you all could be really... Especially if you are older... Um, or you feel like you're older, you feel like you're getting older, whatever you want to call it. Some of you all could really be um, dealing with a lot of anxiety about, you know, getting married, starting a family, finding your person, especially after dealing with, you know, fuckery after fuckery, especially after thinking you found your person and coming to find out this is not your person. This is uh, the devil in fucking in hell reincarnated as your person. Who really ain't your person. The spirit is saying. I'm not going to come when you want me to. I'm going to come on time. And this is what you want. You want a coin. Okay. You want something valuable. You don't want the bullshit. And I feel like a lot of you all. Could be um, pushed. To go back into your childhood. With the six of cups. And do some type of inner child work. That kind of fucked up, you know, how you see yourself, how you see your value with this Empress energy. Because an Empress, let me tell you something. Harlem, come here. Girl, she came out here with my toilet paper. Um, a lot of you all may not know your worth. A lot of you all may not know your value. A lot of you all may not know how you deserve to be treated. And it stems from a childhood wound. A lot of you all don't know that you need to be approached like a fucking goddess and treated like a goddess and vice versa. Vice versa. I also feel like, um, and I, you know, I don't even, I'm not even going to fucking preface it because I was about to. Um, I also feel like men should also be honored and valued and cherished and nurtured and loved. Yep. I feel like it goes both ways. But I'm talking about Something that happened, I keep picking up on something from your past. Maybe how you were loved, how you were poured into, or something like that. It could affect, you know, the way that you see yourself in the eyes of other people. Empress energy, not knowing your worth. Some of you all, with this Empress energy and this Six of Cups, some of you all may be expecting too. But the Empress energy is Taurus, um, Libra, Virgo. I don't know why I just keep hearing childhood work, your worth, your value, how people deal with you, how you allow people to handle you. 
you know, how does it relate to how you were taught? Because sometimes we have to uh, reprogram ourselves. Sometimes we have to decondition ourselves by what we may have been taught or what we may have been um, conditioned or even what we may have received. Just because that's what you've received all your life don't mean that's what the fuck your value is. Okay? Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. Six of Swords. This is you walking away from something, making peace. Choosing peace instead of chaos. Spirit leading you away from something. I feel, I don't know, I feel like for a lot of you, you could be walking away from this, this connection, this union. You could have children with this person. She, she, she got a kid with her in the boat. Hmm. But you're going to be rewarded some sort of a new connection. And you got it. It's important that you know your place as this empress or this emperor so that you can see when somebody is coming to you with a blessing. They always say you don't approach a goddess without an offering. You know, this is how people, when motherfuckers want to deal with you, this is how they need to be. This is how they need to be. Especially if you are a Libra rising or you are a Taurus rising. Because you are by default Venusian. So this is how motherfuckers need to be coming at you anyway. Because you are a goddess. Okay? You are Aphrodite in the motherfucking flesh. Even my guys, I'm a, I'm a, um, a um, Libra uh, rising and so is my baby. So, so is the guys. And one thing I've noticed, especially with my son, people love to give him things. People love to spoil him since he's been a little guy. And he don't shy away from it. He don't use people, of course. But yes, that's right. He, he very much so knows his motherfucking worth. He very much so, yes. You know, make sure you come correct. You know, because my worth, my value, all of that, me being a Virgo son, I always put my shit on the back burner for other people. So I had to learn my divinity as an empress. But I, from, from the, from the giddy up, I didn't steal that from my son. So I get to see him have his, you know, autonomously, organically. But this is you as well. This is how motherfuckers need to come to you. If it ain't about no motherfucking, I don't want to say no money, but if it ain't about nothing of value, baby, you don't get off that throne and entertain nobody. That's the shit you need to be walking away from. If they come in without shit in their hands, this spirit like, uh-uh, baby, let's go. We, we, we getting the fuck up on the body here because what the fuck they talking about? Money talks, bullshit walks. Value talks and bullshit walks. Let me keep saying that because somebody's going to uh, watch this and this is she saying to be a use people for their money and people shit and, and shut the fuck up. Yeah. So. Um, <sighs> Let me see. Do I want to do anything else? Let me look at the time. It's 18 minutes. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave this here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um, I'm rooting for y'all. I want the best for y'all. You know, um, y'all know I, I keep a safe space for y'all. You know, like, yeah. That, that's what we're doing over here at Trillville Entertainment. Because we still Trillville. It's still outside on the marquee. Okay. So, in the meantime, in between time, y'all, y'all know what I'm going to say. Keep your head up, keep your motherfucking bread up, and keep these hoes fed the fuck up, okay? Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy, okay? I am your girl, Nicole, and I will catch you on a future video. Bye-bye.